Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Zoho Projects, which is a free project management software tool where you can manage your projects online, assign tasks, and properly manage your projects in your business, whether you're just a single person or if you do even have employees that you work with as well. You can utilize Zoho Projects as an overall project management tool within the Zoho software suite. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you want to follow along or check out Zoho Projects, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Zoho dash projects. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with Zoho Projects for free today. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho Projects. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use Zoho Projects for beginners as well as a just a general overview and review of Zoho Projects, what the pricing looks like and what you can expect inside the tool. We'll be taking a look at doing a quick demo of Zoho Projects as well, so you get a good overall feel of what the software looks like and what you can expect from Zoho Projects. So without further ado, and smash that like button if you want to help out the channel, it's a great way to help out the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Zoho Projects. So as you can see here, Zoho Projects is the premier project management platform built by Zoho. Now Zoho has a wide variety of different types of business software tools that I've covered a lot of them here on the channel as well if you're interested in maybe learning more about other Zoho tools but Zoho projects specifically is a project management platform as you can see here you can plan your projects track your work and collaborate with global teams it essentially allows you to get a good overview of where projects are at and really being a generally a project manager with this tool you're able to access Gantt charts as you can see here you can also do a Kanban view as well as just a list view of the tasks that need to be completed you can set deadlines, you can set pretty much everything you would expect from a project management tool, very similar to how Asana or Monday uh, would operate as well. You know, honestly, a lot of the project management tools are fairly similar, but what I do like about Zoho Projects is it does give you quite a lot, even just in the free version. Uh, we'll be taking a look at pricing in just a moment, but you do get a lot of detail and granularity when it comes to the data and analytics side of things. Uh, on Zoho projects as well, which is pretty nice and something I do like as well. Now they do also have time tracking uh, that is built in if you do want to uh, log hours that's optional that is available on the more premium plans so that's not on the free version but we'll get into that in just a moment uh, you can also automate tasks as well if you want to set up uh, some task automations maybe say for example something is open you set it to review and then it's in progress and you want to push things through your pipeline uh, you can also set up some automations there you can also integrate with other popular apps such as like you know Jira or Slack Dropbox or Zapier things like that if you do want those third-party app integrations uh, in addition to that you can also also use their mobile app which is a great way to keep track of things on the go now in terms of what Zoho projects looks like when it comes to pricing and before we dive into the pricing I just want to make a quick quick disclaimer that of course pricing is always subject to change depending on when you're watching this video be sure to check out Zoho projects pricing page to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing uh, but as you can see here they do have a free version as well as a premium and enterprise level plan on the free version you're limited just to three projects and up to five users which honestly is pretty good on the free version uh, you're also able to add subtasks and a whiteboard and five gigabytes of storage space so if you do need a lot more storage maybe I would recommend using something else like Dropbox or Google Drive if you need more than five gigabytes because I get that that's not a lot depending on the industry that you're in, in terms of overall storage space and adding attachments but if you're just really using it to manage tasks and you're not necessarily uploading a lot of files here uh, it would be just fine on the free version uh, otherwise you might want to upgrade to like the premium version and something like that which is on a per user per month and you can do it build annually or monthly at that five or ten dollars or four and nine dollars respectively uh, and of course if you do need time tracking that is on the premium version as well as the project templates as well as unlimited projects so just keep that in mind if you do need the more advanced features like uh, custom fields custom roles and things like that that is only on the enterprise plan uh, but even just on the free version three projects subtasks is really what most people just need for some basic level project management uh, so a lot of people can get by pretty good especially with up to five users on that free version is really not too shabby in my opinion uh, in terms of the other features you get some of the more basic 
uh, reports and things like that. If you do need the more advanced reports, you would need to go up to the premium or enterprise level plans. As you can see here, you know, a lot of the core features are available here, even in the free version. Uh, it's just, if you need some of those more custom views, time tracking, you know, some of those more advanced features, then you would have to go up further on the plans. Again, you could go ahead and check this out if you need more details yourself uh, on the pricing page if you need that. Third-party app integrations, you do get a lot even on the free version as well, uh, as well as some of their in-house integrations, which is one of the other side benefits of using a, a platform like Zoho Projects is it's easy to integrate with the other Zoho apps. So maybe if you are using them as well for your CRM uh, meeting platform, they do also have a separate project management tool called Zoho Sprints, which is more uh, akin to like, a uh, developer setup and if you do want to utilize that type of project management that is sort of like a separate tool uh, just want to mention that there uh, so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the tool diving into Zoho projects so once you have signed up and created an account on Zoho projects again link down below if you want to check them out that first link down below in the video description uh, once you've gotten signed up with Zoho projects this is the page you will be greeted with here on your home page so as you can see here this is just sort of like a test account that I've created for this demo today. So we have some open tasks, some closed tasks, as well as overall tasks that they have added in here as things like, oh, this is something to do. So you will see, and you can customize this as well and sort of drag things around. You can view things as personal as to what's assigned to you specifically, or in the portfolio view, which you can view more so the overall projects that are available inside your project management tool, everything that's sort of going on. Uh, you have tags, you have project timeline summary. So if things are going on currently during certain months. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this and something I would just bear in mind for any type of project management tool is that these dashboards are only as good as you are at accurately using the project management tool. So just that's more of a general project management advice, but they're only as accurate as you update them. So just keep that in mind when you're utilizing a project management tool, when you're looking at these dashboards, like I do think it is pretty nice that Zoho Projects does have a lot of options here when you can see different project owners, different uh, project statuses, open tasks, you know, overall um, dashboard of where things are at at least on a total company basis uh, in the portfolio, it can be a good idea to get a basis of that. But uh, do keep in mind, again, it's only as accurate as you make it. Uh, moving along in here, we have reports as well. Now, some of these reports, depending on which version you're on, you may or may not be able to you know, edit them just as much as I'm showing you here because this is on the enterprise level 10-day free trial, uh, which they do have a 10-day free trial on the pr more premium plans if you are interested in that as well. Or, you know, and you don't have to enter anything in, you know, you can always decide to go with the free version later on if you want to maybe test out the premium versions uh, and then just downgrade to the free version after that 10 day period. You can do that as well. Um, no pressure there from Zoho, which I do think is pretty nice as well. So we can see certain tasks given on certain days. You can see an overall heat map. Uh, you can look at uh, a bar view. Uh, as well as a overall timeline. I kind of like the timeline view just because you, you can kind of get it based on the days, times, things are going. Um, we'll go back to sort of the uh, heat map view. And this is just sort of the reports uh, section. You can break things out depending on the task owner, uh, associated teams, profiles, roles as well um, given. And then if we undo if we click that drop down then you can see within this specific project which i get the project name is explore zoho projects uh so you can see through the overall timeline here we're going to be clicking into that in just a moment just so you can get a better idea of where what things look like so if we go to projects this is really the main view that probably most people are watching this video for is and honestly in my opinion it does kind of remind me a lot of monday from that tool the way that it's built out with the little blocks and sort of the status views and things like that. Uh, it really does kind of reminisce that tool in terms of what I think it kind of looks like. Now, to access that project, this is sort of like the overall projects view. If you want to see all active projects, that's like this list view of all active projects. And the Gantt view is only on like the more premium version, so do keep that in mind. Uh, but if you just want the list view, you can see this overall project, the overall status, the overall owner, percentage of completion. Again, the percentage of completion is sort of an arbitrary number, um, depending on how many tasks have been completed out of the total open tasks versus closed tasks. 
that's where you're getting that task completed percentage. Um, again, everything is only as accurate as you sort of create it. So just keep that in mind. You have a start date, end date. Uh, so you can set those up here within the overall active projects. You can take a look at project templates. Now we haven't actually created any fresh ones. It's ungrouped, it's not public, nothing's been uh, archived or recycled. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the actual project view inside here. Uh, so we have the overall dashboard. This is what you will see for any given project that you check in on, you can see all the individualized uh, upcoming tasks that are coming along, task project charts. So you can see like how far along certain things are. You can see things that are planned versus the actual amount of time. If we if we, you have team members, you would add them in there. Uh, and you can see overall upcoming events. If there's any events, uh, you can see the total task list created, still open. Uh, and as well as the open, closed, and review in progress. So you get a nice little pie chart here uh, inside the dashboard. If we actually look at the specific task, this is what the uh, project board would look like when you have all the tasks. Again, I would say this is very reminiscent to Monday, the way that the open statuses uh, are set up. You can go ahead in here and change them. Uh, you can also customize those here if you need to as well. If you needed to maybe add one, you could just go ahead and type in uh, new or, you know search for it there um, and you can edit these inside the settings if you need to organize certain things or edit the overall you know the view and things like that uh, but this is just quickly showing you sort of what the statuses look like if you have them you can also click and uh, drag things around if you need to maybe move uh, if you want to see the status here you can update the field order there uh, if you need to change the owner, you can easily add additional people. If you have them inside your company, you can also move these around if you want to. Um, I would keep the task name where it is. Uh, you can also collapse all subtasks or expand all the subtasks in one click, uh, which is pretty cool. You can also easily add tasks here. So if you have a task name, uh, you set the owner, start date, priority, uh, overall work hours if you need to set that, billing type if it's billable, non-billable. So you can really get into the nitty gritty details here. Uh, as far as you know what you want to add you can also attach files here just do keep in mind the overall file size limits uh, when it comes to if you're using the free version um, so you can add tasks there if we want to add one let's just say uh, test and we can go ahead and just click add and then it will add the uh, test task as you can see this is automatically set to the open status uh, we can then change that to maybe in progress or to be tested things like that uh, and you can also uh, easily add comments here. You can see the overall task and what things have been updated. You can add comments, uh, the owner, all that kind of information there. As you can see, this is currently unassigned because it's in progress, but we don't actually have it assigned to anyone. So you can go through here and click and assign tasks. Uh, and basically pretty self-explanatory, like most uh, task management softwares um, that you're going to add tasks. You can also add in a task list or just keep adding additional tasks if you need to do that there. You can also view the due date, start date, uh, duration, priority, as well as completed percentage. Now. The completed percentage, like I said, is sort of arbitrary here. If it's it's either done or it's not done, you can say, oh, maybe it's halfway done. You know, maybe put 50% there. Um, it just as an overall, if you want to use that, you don't necessarily have to use that. Um, you can also add certain fields here that are already um, available to this project. Now, if you need to create those custom fields here, those are only on the higher premium versions, but they do at least have a good amount of basic fields like that you would want to have here, such as the work hours maybe uh, created by. Honestly, I, I feel like a lot of the ones that you would need are already on here, uh, but maybe if you wanna add the billing type and things like that, completion date, uh, you can add those in here if you need to as well. Um, inside your overall task list. So you can see everything uh, that's open, in progress, in review, pretty nice and pretty easy to understand. Now, in terms of adding additional projects, if you have other uh, projects that you want to add, maybe you want to add a template, you can easily do that there. Uh, and you can see all of the active projects. You can also uh, view some of the details of this project, if it's private, uh, public, things like that, the overall uh, project completion. 
Uh, so you can really see sort of everything that you would need within this as well. Now, if you want to change the view from list, you can easily do that here. Uh, you can change it to Kanban view. And this view personally is one of my favorites within project management, especially if you're just going to be kind of clicking and dragging and moving things along. This can be really easy, especially for certain types of projects that maybe are less intensive, or maybe if you have a lot of a back, like a big backlog and you just want to easily be able to click and move things along. The Kanban view is personally one of my favorite project management views just because it's very easy to understand. You don't have like this long convoluted list of a million different things to do and everything going on. Depending on how you've nested things, the list view uh, can be a little complicated. Gantt view is good if you are utilizing the project timelines effectively, but Gantt view um, if you're not utilizing the timelines directly, like super strict, it, Gantt view can kind of get a little bit out of hand if you're not use, utilizing the timelines effectively, or if you don't really have such specific stringent timelines, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using the Gantt view. Honestly, list and Kanban are really my go-tos personally. Um, and you can do that here. Obviously you have, uh, you know, open in progress in review to be tested, closed, um, you can also change the color here if you want to maybe edit some things here, you know, change the overall uh, view if you want to maybe move, uh, close things in if you don't necessarily ha need to have that open, especially the close tab, you know, you can collapse that if you want. You can collapse any of them here. Uh, you can also create additional statuses, custom statuses, depending on your business. If you want to, you know, have certain other statuses, you can change this to a separate name. So we have, you know, open in progress and review to be tested closed. Maybe you have a special thing like editing or something like that. You can easily add that in there and apply it. And then you'll have an editing tab. So you have open editing in progress. So depending on your business and how you're managing projects, you can add in custom, uh, settings for where projects are at in terms of task timelines and how things are moving along uh, in your business. So you also have the collaborations view, which is where you can add in team members. Of course, we don't actually have any team members in here. You also have a calendar view uh, so you can see everything that's going on on the calendar. Again, if you're not using the timelines effectively, some of the time deadlines and calendar views can be a little bit much in my opinion on Zoho projects if if it's not you know really set specifically to where your projects are at that's something that you know you might want to just keep in mind now if you want to add a new project uh, you can also add something from scratch here uh, if you want to add a new project from scratch and on the more premium plans you do also have some additional templates here uh, that you can use now honestly a lot of the templates it, depending on your business, like you may or may not necessarily really care too much about the templates, but if you're going to be paying for the premium version anyway, uh, it can be nice to use some of these templates such as digital marketing, uh, manufacturing, event planning. Like this can just help you kind of get off the ground. They also have some software, I like development, website development, construction, uh, automobile spare manufacturing, uh, IT support, manufacturing uh, risk tracker, uh, for project risks and things like that, product launch, wedding planner, sales planner, security testing, SEO, travel, vehicle inspection, uh, RFP, UX research, employee onboarding, accounting, apartment maintenance, and retail store. So depending on you know what type of projects you're going to be managing, they do have a lot of templates in here. That's why I figured I would just rattle them off here. Uh, but if you are using the free version, you need to create them from scratch. If you just went in here, uh, added a new project, you can easily add in the custom tabs. So you can set up tabs for them. We're just gonna go ahead and say, this is a test project, just to show you what a scratch one looks like. As you can see here, there's nothing in here. Uh, and this is what it would look like from scratch. You have them uh, available in here and you can easily add in tasks as you see fit. Um, so that's pretty much Zoho Projects. It is pretty self-explanatory as far as the tool. You can really get in here and track all your different projects and easily add them in here. I do like how Zoho does have a free version as well. Uh, so that is pretty much Zoho Projects and what it looks like. Again, guys, if you do want to check out Zoho Projects and get started today for free, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brentvaleski.com forward slash Zoho dash projects. That will take you right over to this page here where you can start with Zoho Projects for free again today at that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.